Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Rob Chesapeake Picker here. I'm a part-time reseller based out of Virginia. If you have never been here before, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really helps this channel continue to grow. Um, I got a couple interesting interactions that I've had this week where they've just kind of worked out in my favor. So I'm going to go through that and through some great sales that we got on all the platforms that I use. So go ahead and we'll get right into this. So Facebook Marketplace has been doing free shipping. They did it in October and now they're doing it again through like December 17th or whatever for uh, quite a lot of people. Um, this one they actually didn't do, but the other one they did. But anyway, I got, and that's really helped out sales. I think a lot of things that might have sat for a little longer are moving a little quicker because they don't have to pay for it, which is awesome. And it still helps me out. Um, this one they did pay for shipping for. It says Xbox 360 game Street Fighter 4. I picked this up for like a buck at a garage sale or 50 cents or something like that. Not like super valuable or anything, but it did sell for $10 plus shipping. This here is a military field coat. Not really a parka, it's more like a jacket, but it did have the removable liner in there, the zip-out hood, just like the parkas do. I got this with a bunch of other stuff at uh, Salvation Army. So I paid up for it, and I got to say, since I went there and got all that stuff, which I did tell you guys um, in past videos how well I've been doing on some of the sales there, they've like tripled their prices on everything. So... I'm pretty much going to steer clear of uh, Salvation Army, except maybe on their discount days and just kind of popping in and out, but not really a focus. Goodwill is the best of the best as far as thrift stores around me go. But that I bought for $19 and it sold for $50 plus shipping. I'm not sure if they paid for shipping. I think that was a free shipper, but pretty cool. I've only had it a couple weeks and it was a nice flip. I have another one that's in a little bit better condition that I have up for $60. So hopefully that one will sell soon as well. Rest of these are all Facebook and then we're going to move on over to eBay. So I had a Chicago Greatest Hits on vinyl record. I've had this one up for a while. I got this from my buddy that I got all the records from probably about a year ago now, uh, but it did sell full asking price of $15 plus shipping. I picked up this American Eagle hat for like a buck or something like that. It wasn't anything fancy. I got it at a garage sale, but it did sell for $12 and uh, that was plus shipping. I had this Nordic Wear dinosaur uh, cake muffin pan or whatever. I had one of these a while ago, uh, a long time ago, and I sold it for like 20 bucks plus shipping. And I picked this one up for like 50 cents at a garage sale. There's actually a video of that garage sale up. Um, been kind of just sitting around for a long time. I was kind of surprised, but it's all right. I only spent a dollar fifty cents, whatever, on it. Um, I got an offer on Facebook for fifteen dollars plus shipping, and I went ahead and took it. I don't know if you guys can't see it back here, but I got this golf club bag. Um, those are just kind of the junky clubs that weren't really worth anything. I'm going to take one last look through them, see if they're worth much. Um, if not, I'm going to go ahead and just take them right back to Goodwill. But I picked that bag up for I don't know, like. Seven, ten bucks, something like that. Uh, came with a whole bunch of clubs. One of these was this uh, Callaway 45 degree pitching wedge. Very nice condition on this one. And this sold on Facebook for $50 plus shipping. And this uh, army coat, this is really a uniform jacket, uh, ACU top, OCP, multicam, whatever. Um, it was new with the tags, which is always a plus. I got this, I think I got this at uh, just a thrift store for probably five bucks or whatever. And it sold for $40 plus shipping. And then my last Facebook sale is just a lot of four DVDs, uh, musical DVDs. So we got what, Mary Poppins, Meet Me in St. Louis, Sing in the Rain. Um, these sold, I had a lot of like eight of them up and somebody sent me a message, just wanted like four of them. So maybe an offer for $15 and that was free ship, I went ahead and took it. So two strange Mercari uh, interactions that I'm gonna go through here. One of them, I had two lots of DVDs up. They were both $40 a piece, free shipping. One was Tom Hanks and one was Robin Williams. So it was a whole bunch of movies in there. Um, I had somebody sent me a message. They wanted to buy all of them for $65. Like, okay, I could do that. And then they asked me to take a picture of them that just said lot for Christina. And then they also asked me to not include what they were, any descriptions, just the price. And that was that. Seemed a little fishy to me, but I looked, this person is a buyer and a seller. They had over like a hundred feedback on Mercari, which, you know, is pretty good for that platform. Everything was positive. So 
I said, what the heck? Or before I even did that, she said she'd pay full price. So I'm like, all right, 80 bucks. The worst thing that can happen is that she says, item not as described and sends me back like a paper clip or something like that. And I'm out 80 bucks. But in all reality, I didn't really pay for these because I bought them in a whole big old lot and I'm into the profit already. So I figured, what the heck? So I put them together and then it took her like four days to pay for it. Said it had a problem with their bank account, this and that. I'm like, okay, this is like a... I don't know what this is. It seems fishy though, right? Then comes around, she paid for it Monday, shipped it out, it arrived really quickly, and she left me like a glowing review. I mean, just amazing feedback for working with her. So maybe she shares this account with a husband, boyfriend, whatever, and didn't want him to see what she had purchased. Although if he looked in the messages, he'd see all that, but whatever. Anyway, sold for 80 bucks. So, you know, it costs like six bucks to ship it out, media mail. And uh, yeah, nice big chunk out of that. And then the next thing I got was this Port Authority jacket. It was a Norfolk Southern jacket. I got this from a friend. She actually gave me a bunch of stuff. Said, just take it, sell it. I don't want anything for it. So she told me it was a size large. It didn't have any indicator or tag in there. So I, I listed it as a size large. I sent it out. It was $28 free shipping. I took an offer on it. It was like 35 bucks. Had it up over a year. So then the person messaged me, said, hey, this is more like a small. And I'm like, you know what? Sorry about that. Just open up a return and I'll just give you your money back. I don't need it back. I mean, and already I had this thing over a year. I'm not about to pay to get it shipped back to me. Have it sit for another year. So that's fine. I was going to say, hopefully you find one that you're looking for, right? I usually, every time I get some kind of a issue, I always say, hopefully you can find what you're looking for at a bargain. I figure it's a nice little touch. And, you know, so far, anything I've ever had an issue with, I've never gotten negative feedback on. So they never opened up a return. They never responded to my message. And after Mercari, after three days after delivery, the item's closed and that's done. The sale is final. So I got paid. So it is what it is. I mean, you know, they bought it. They had the opportunity to return it. They didn't take it. So I'll take the money. So if you guys have been watching this channel for a while, you might remember when I went and picked up a whole bunch of military clothing. It was a bunch of uniforms, shirts, and ja uh, jackets and bottoms. I got them for five bucks a piece. So I got two jackets and four pairs of pants. I paid five bucks a piece on them. So, uh, so that's $60 all in on this lot. Um, they've never sold. I haven't sold a, a bit of them even though I've sold every other like thing relatively quickly. But these are also mediums, you know, your larges, your extra larges, they sell faster, but I knew they'd sell. So I had somebody buy both of them. I had the lots up as the, the shirt and the pants, and then I had just the two pants by themselves there. And somebody bought two, both of the shirt and pants sets for $160 free shipping. Um, I was able to get this shipped out for about 10 bucks through FedEx. So all in all, I profited like $75 just on that alone, and I still got the two pants set to, to sell. I picked this up at a thrift store for $1.98. It was this uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Chum Bucket playset. Yeah, it's about like this big, whatever. Um, I figure, what the heck, I can't go wrong. Sold comps on it look pretty good. I've had it up for a little while, but it sold for $30 plus shipping. As I'm filming this, it's Sunday evening. There wasn't much garage sailing to do over the weekend, so I went out to Cool Bins. It's the Amazon Overstock store. I didn't get there when it first opened. I got there about 11.30. They open up at 10. So, you know, some things have been picked over, but I did find a few things. I picked up three things, and one of them is already sold. So I got this it's Sonic Cake um, EXP pedal. I guess it's for music. I don't know, guitar, drums. I don't know what it's for. Don't really care because I bought it for $7, which is their stocking, their, their restocking fee, and it sold for $29 free shipping. Same day, just a couple hours later. And it went out first class, so about six bucks on there. My profit on it is about $14, just under 14 bucks. So not bad for just a couple hours. This is a book set that is pretty much worthless. Uh, it was a Hunger Games trilogy. I picked these up at like garage sales and stuff. I think maybe I have like five to six dollars into it. Um, number two did not have a uh, cover on it. So it didn't have that slip cover. So it hurt the value a little bit. They sold for $17.99 free shipping. Um, basically just walked away even. So Breaking Dawn or you know Twilight, Hunger Games, not really worth any money. 
but I've been killing it on these old manuals. So I picked up at a garage sale a whole bunch of old books. They were like telecommunications manuals and stuff, some military, just some radio and telephone. This was a 1957 radio diagrams thing. Uh, sold for $15, free shipping. A lot of Under Armour stuff holds its value pretty well. I picked up this Utah Utes uh, Under Armour polo shirt. I got it at Goodwill for $4.79. This was a men's 2XL, excellent size. Um, it sold for $24 plus shipping in just about two weeks. This new sealed DVD, God is With Us. I think I got this with the big lot I got from my buddy. As you see, there's a bunch of them there still. Uh, this sold for $22.99 free shipping. And then I got this here. This is the Films of Charles and Ray Eames. I got this at the thrift store for $4.98. Um, it was new and sealed, which is always a plus. Sold for $50 plus shipping. This Einstein Space Navigator kids thing. It was new in the box, but the box had like writing all over it and stuff like that. I spent $6.25 for it. Uh, but it did sell for $19.99 plus shipping. So not an excellent buy, but still profitable. You guys have probably heard me talk about the uh, reseller that I bought all that stuff from at his garage sale last year. Um, or this year, I don't know when it was. But anyway, I got these Nike Air Force Ones. They were men's size 8. Pretty nice condition. There was some discoloration around the, uh, the sole there. But uh, I only paid $1.75 for them. So you really can't go wrong when you're buying shoes like that for that cheap. Um, they sold for $36 plus shipping. Picked up this Traeger hat. Uh, I saw this at Goodwill the other day for like 3 bucks. That's what the hats cost there. They... Uh, there was barely any of them available and all of them had sold. So like talking like a hundred, 200% sell through rate. So I don't mind picking up hats like that. Sold for $18 plus shipping in just a couple days. Three more things and we'll be done with this one. I got this uh, army jacket here, this BDU coat. I picked it up, thought it was in really good shape, but then I come home to find I had a couple stains on it. So I knocked the price down a little bit, disclosed that in the listing. This was a medium regular, which is the most common sizes I find. I sold it for $19.99 free ship. It just, they, these all just go out in a flat rate envelope. I just put them in a little plastic baggie, kind of compress them and then throw it in there. $7.91 to ship now, I think. And uh, yeah, I spent like four bucks on it. Got this DVD here. This is Cocoon and Cocoon 2 combo. I uh, picked this up with my buddy's stuff. You know, all these movies here. Not new, not sealed. Sold for $39.99 free shipping. And then I got these Sailor's Pants. These are a men's size uh, 40 regular. They're, um, picked them up for $5.79 at Goodwill. And they sold for $19.96 plus shipping. Hi guys, thanks for checking out the channel. Always appreciate it. Go ahead and drop me any questions, comments down below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.